Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, hey, it's Jay. Welcome to my channel. And it's a Christmas themed video, guys. I know what you're thinking. Jay, you don't like Christmas. You tell us all the time. You're a Halloween person. And I've had comments from people saying, why have you got pumpkins up when they see my reaction videos? It's a lifestyle. But I got inspired this year to do a proper Harry Potter themed tree. I did a Harry Potter tree last year, but it was like your genetic one where you buy everything Harry Potter, throw it on a tree and go, ta-da. Um, so that's what I did. But this year, I am doing Honey Dukes. I'm going to attempt to try and do a Honey Dukes themed tree. I don't know what it is. And if any of you relate, let me know. But there's something about Honey Dukes that you just love. Like the little section in the Warner Brothers Studio Tour shop where the Honey Dukes bit is. I could stay there all day. And it's not just because the sweets and the chocolate are to die for. You feel so happy in there. And I don't know what it is. It makes me full of like child wonder and I just want to sit and look at everything and all the colours. So I want to recreate that in my living room and give myself a Honey Dukes feel for Christmas. So if you want to stick around and see what I've bought so far for the tree, please do remember to like, subscribe. Let's go. The tree I have is my mum's tree. Now she's not having her tree up this year because she's not spending most of her time at home this year anyway. So she didn't feel that she needed to put it up. So I've got it and it's already got these built in little lights. So I didn't have to buy lights, which is a bonus. And to go around the tree, I've got this pink ribbon, which I, I already had to hang up my Ambridge plates. And that was off Amazon. And I think it was semi-cheap. It was probably between one to two pound. And I got quite a lot of it and wrapped this around the tree, around the lights. And I got green ribbon to go with it. I got this in the range, which is like a generic homeware store. Like you get loads of stuff in there, like bedding, paint, plates, cutlery, cups, art supplies. And I found this nice green ribbon to go with it. These next couple of things are also from the range. And my sister told me about these specific ornaments. And I went, if we go in and they have them, they have to come home with me. And they have them. They're little sweets. Look how cute they are. And perfect colours for honey books. Pastel, green, pinks. I was look, trying to keep within the colour theme. There are a couple of things that obviously will not go with it, but it will make the Honey Dukes tree more Honey Dukes. And they were only £2.49 for six ornaments. And then I was thinking about, I want to do a sign for the tree that's like, obviously that says Honey Dukes. But I was thinking realistically, how was I going to do that? I know I could buy one, but I'm trying to save a bit of money and just find what I can. And my sister saw these flag garlands and they, there's like at least three letters in each. And it comes with the twine to hang them on. So I can easily make honey dukes three times out of all these layers and hang them one at the top, one in the middle, one at the bottom. They are so cute and reusable. So once I'm done with it, I can easily put it back in the pocket and then use these for other things like happy birthday, happy anniversary, all stuff like that. And I don't think this, that was bad either. What was that? Two pound for these. And the colours are very... I think all of these are very Honey Dukes colours. If there's any red or blues, then maybe not. But the fact that these colours are like perfect, like it was just meant to be. My sister saw them and I went, oh, I love that. Then we went into the works, which is like, it sells books, craft stuff. And I found this flashing light necklace. And I know what you're thinking. What are you using that for on a Honey Dukes tree? But I've got an idea for it. I have an empty Freddy Box bean box which I would like to stick on the tree. And I wanted to fill it. And I was just going to fill them up with like little jingly balls, like little ball balls. And Lucy went, no. And then she spotted this. and was like, why don't you just use that and occasionally turn them on? And they look like flashing beans. And they're all different colours as well because the only little bobbles I could find were like obviously green and red and silver and gold. But these are like blue, yellow, red, green. And they look perfect. And it's like that. So I can just keep that out of the out of the box, hide it behind. And when I want to turn it on, I can have flashing Bertie Butts beans. And this was only two pounds. Now these next ones were technically a gift from one of my friends, Becky. She works in my local pub. And when she decorates, she decorates. Like she's an amazing decorator. Like Halloween, Christmas, my local is like up there with the best decorated. And she had these little ornaments hanging. And I thought, oh, they're cool. They look like sugar quills almost and I wanted to ask her where did she get them from and she was like oh B&M which is like another genetic store so I said oh I'll definitely have to go out there and find them then if they have them and then I got a message and she bought me some 
Look how much they look. They are gonna look so cute, Mitchie. They will look like sugar quills, like pink sugar quills from Honey Dukes. And you get eight of them in there, and they're only three pound, like three pound for ornaments. And then you can reuse them as well because they're clip-ons. Then me and my sister went to Tesco. We, we just kept looking in every Christmas section to see if we could find anything like pastel green, pink. And I didn't really want a lot of white because the lights on the tree are white. So I wouldn't need a lot of that. And then she picked up this little guy, a mint green nutcracker. Now normally nutcrackers terrify me. I don't know what it was about them, but as a child, they were scary to me. I know you guys are thinking that is odd, but it was perfect colors. And I would have bought two of them, but they only had one of the pink one left. And um, it's broken, but I have um, super glue, so it's all right. It's hard to get glued back on this head. So I've got one of these to put almost either side of the tree. How perfect colouring are these? They were £1.75 each, which isn't too bad. I, I do also want to say I don't have them out yet because I'll have to go digging through the Christmas stuff under my bed because there's no Christmas stuff out yet. That I do have chocolate frog card ornaments that I made. I just took the ones that you would get out of the chocolate frogs at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. I bought them off eBay for cheap, but no one wanted them. I think I just got the four house founders. I don't think I got Dumbledore and just put gold thread through them and hung them on the tree. That's all I did. And that was like three pounds for the cards, I think, which I don't think was too bad for all four of them. And I do have those to go on the tree as well, but I'll see if they go. I'm not sure. And then of course, why would I do a Honey Duke's tree and not have some Honey Duke's sweets on here? So that's it guys. That was everything I bought for the Honey Duke's tree so far. If you guys know anywhere I can get cool little ornaments or you have any ideas for me, leave them down below in the comments. Remember to, to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.